next on the list we have some really weird news right i guess from the world of boxing floyd medweather and logan paul have confirmed that they're going to be fighting an exhibition fight for some reason um on pay-per-view i guess maybe going off the success of the mike tyson and roy jones and then of course the jake paul and nate robertson uh prior and of course before that the original fight which was against logan paul and ksi that he i think he lost both fights right or one was a draw ever so there's obviously an appeal for these um sort of celebrity exhibition boxing matches where a very prominent public figure goes against somebody that's very skilled in you know in maybe the art of fighting whether it's martial arts whether it's boxing in general whatever it may be but then there seems to be a progression and an evolution of this where they want an actual professional boxer somebody that is a you know multi-champion who's got a 50 and 0 record to go into a ring against uh essentially what is a youtuber yes logan paul has experience in fighting he's obviously got some uh collegiate wrestling experience he's obviously been boxing at a very high no at a very serious level for a very prolonged period of time but let's make no mistake like he has no business being in a ring with somebody like floyd mayweather and we saw what happened against conor mcgregor conor mcgregor was at the time maybe one of the most dangerous MMA fighters of his weight class, somebody who a lot of people thought generally might have a chance against Floyd Mayweather. No, not a lot of people, maybe only Brendan Schaub, but there were some people who still thought, you know, he's got a fighter's chance, right? He is a match, he is a long time martial artist. Yes, it's the sweet science of boxing, but if you're able to strike the way that Conor McGregor is able to strike, there is an understanding that there might be a possibility where you can maybe give Floyd over an issue. And of course, you also have to remember, I'm pretty sure Conor McGregor was like a Golden Gloves champion, right? He has some sort of amateur boxing experience, so he doesn't have no base. But for somebody like a Logan Paul to decide to start boxing at what, age 24 or whatever old he is, and then to start and then to think that level of experience is going to be any sort of competition for somebody like a Floyd Mayweather is absolutely insane. Um, now, again, of course, the money involved, I'm sure, makes everything makes sense for some people because there are that there is that group of fighters, I guess, that exist out there who just fight for the money right they don't really fight for the legacy or for the trophies or for whatever it may be cool that's all makes sense but surely this does nothing for either of them if Floyd gets in and sparks out Logan Paul in the first round nothing happens nothing changes if Logan Paul somehow manages to win no one takes this seriously because it's an exhibition fight and again it makes Floyd River look bad and it probably reflects poorly on the sport of boxing but either way, there's no real big winners of this. It doesn't really do anything. Like we know that maybe with training, someone, if someone trained long enough, you could probably, um, you could probably not embarrass yourself in a ring against somebody decent. But to go against somebody like a Floyd wherever in boxing is just, again, I don't know. Maybe again it's because I've been humbled in uh in a in a martial arts gym right again muay thai group on one month and a half right and i know what it's like to fight somebody that actually knows what they're doing i can only imagine what the gap in skill level is from somebody like myself and a floyd Mayweather. just it just must be the scary it must be scary it must be legitimately scary getting in the room with somebody like that and before you even put your hands up he's hit you four times like just imagine <laughs> So credit to Logan Paul for even taking the fight in the first place. This is from Sky News. It says, Floyd Mayweather v. Logan Paul Boxing. Great to come out of retirement to fight YouTube star. Um, it says, the following undefeated boxing great Floyd Mayweather is to come out of retirement to fight YouTube star Logan Paul. The fight is being touted as an exhibition and will take place on the 20th of February next year. Now, of course, they keep saying exhibition, but we know, you know, most fight fans are going to take this seriously. If... Floyd Mayweather does lose because he's such a hated and divisive figure in the sport of boxing. People are definitely going to put that against his record and he'll be 50 and 1. So let's not, you know, use that as an excuse. It promises to be another lucrative deal for the money Mayweather as well as Paul, who's more than two who has more than 22 million YouTube subscribers. Now, supposedly I've heard through the grapevine that they're both getting a hundred million dollars each, supposedly. Um, I think Floyd Mayweather is getting a hundred million dollars guaranteed, and then Logan Paul's is split. But regardless, that is supposed to be the person they're looking at, which is maddening. Um, both men have tweeted an image of the pay-per-view fight, which will be broadcast exclusively on a 
platform called Fan Mio, which I've never even heard of. Right? I don't know what Fan Mio is. Um, should I look up what fa- what is a Fan Mio? Will it give me a what is a Fan Mio? No results found. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Um, I guess it's some sort of streaming site, but it's weird that Trailer's not doing it. That did the fight previously with Jake Paul, um, and of course Mike Tyson and Roy Jones. I wonder why that's not the case, um, and I wonder why what why didn't someone like an OnlyFans um, decide to maybe stream this fight? It would have been perfect for OnlyFans, right? If OnlyFans are trying to pivot away, again, this is if if OnlyFans are trying to pivot away from the idea that they're just a platform for sex workers and prostitutes. What a best what a better way to do so than to have the first marquee fight be Mayweather, Viva, Logan Paul, exclusively on OnlyFans, and then maybe use that as opportunity to maybe build and do other sort of exhibition-y type fights and stuff, right? Competitions and tennis matches and shit. I don't know, whatever, right? The greats. I'm sure there's a market for people watching. I'm sure there's a market for people who want to watch, you know, their favorite athlete you know compete again at whatever level it is whether it's michael johnson racing against somebody in a 200 meters or you know john mackerel facing someone in the exhibition tennis match it must exist so why not do that on only fans i wonder why they didn't do that i wonder anyway it continues uh mayover is considered one of the best pound for pound boxers ever and has been tempted out of retirement several times before he famously beat ufc star michael uh, mcclellan in 2017 which stretched his pro boxing record to 50 fights and reportedly banked him several hundred million dollars now supposedly what i've heard again through the forums and the reddits is that the plan always was to re to kind of rematch conor mcgregor now conor mcgregor's camp actually believe that they can beat Floyd Mayweather. If you watch the first few fights or the first few rounds of the original fight, there was an understanding that Conor was getting the best of Floyd. Now, Floyd post-fight was saying he purposely went easy on Conor because he went to make it more of an exhibition and more of a fight. And then when he started to ramp it up, that's when he was kind of feeling himself and we just wanted to kind of, you know, end the fight. And he did with the TKO, which is which is interesting because, you know, Floyd Mayweather really rarely knocks out people in general. So for him to knock out somebody like a, or to TKO somebody like a Conor McGregor just showed what the gaps in like levels of skill were. But Conor McGregor's team maintained that if he rematches him, he could beat him because the amount of training that he did just to get to that level wasn't that much. If he's, give, he's been, you know, it's been what? Four, four years 18 19 20 three years or so maybe or four years going on this if they fight next year so there's not there's kind of a, a feeling in his camp that if he rematches um, floyd he could potentially beat him so the plan in place was always for floyd to fight one of these youtubers they've been calling him out for ages remember he put that tweet out about these girls need to stop talking about me and then for the other fight on the other side of that was to be against conor mcgregor which would be wild because when jake paul and stuff are calling out conor mcgregor that's that's ridiculous right especially if it's in the ufc octagon that's an you know an octagon in the ufc it's just that shouldn't be happening but a boxing fight you know hey it continues the 43 year old also fought a submission against oh yeah kickboxer tenshin nukazawa on new year's eve in 2018 yeah that was brutal wasn't it um the fight ended inside one round after the hapless nagasawa was knocked down three times um it, you could you, he said um he could face a awkward a few awkward moments against the 25 year old though despite not having skill anywhere near mayweather he's around five inches taller and naturally much heavier but again do people not understand that if floyd mayweather who's tiny right if floyd mayweather was a fight a bouncer at your local nightclub he'd probably beat them all up right if there's like five of them on the door he'd probably beat them all up unless one of them grabbed them and kind of grabbed them and sat on his chest or something he'd probably beat all five of those bouncers up at a nightclub so why do people think because somebody's bigger with less skill is going to win it's a really strange analogy i've been seeing again it's the same sort of thing i heard when he was about to face connor oh connor's long connor's got awkward angles all this sort of stuff it's like yeah and this guy's been boxing since sort of the age of five years old. Like that ring is his back garden. Do you know what I mean? Like he knows it, everything. Uh, I don't know. Again, I just I guess you got to stay with the fight, and it? it is what it is. Um, and again, didn't Logan lose to KSI? And KSI is what? How skilled is KSI, KSI compared to a Conor McGregor? Like, mama mia. Um, Paul's boxing experience comes from two fights against British YouTuber 
KSI. The first fight match in 2018 ended with a majority draw, but he lost the last year's rematch on points. The decision to proceed with what appears to be a gigantic mismatch had been prompted by Mike Tyson's recent exhibition with Roy Jones, which proved a big success on pay-per-view. For Paul, the event marks another significant turnaround of the pariah he was briefly in 2018 after being shown a body of suicide victim in a YouTube video. Yeah, of course, for him it's a big, it's like an, obviously a, a, an amazing arc for himself, right? He's gone on his whole redemption tour he's really kind of changed his life um the podcast he does with his friends is really good if you watch a couple of the guests if you watch a couple of the, sh the interviews that he does with guests that you like he does come across really well um great bounds of his friends of course the boxing stuff he's been doing over the last few years has been pretty insane to see how much he's improved fight on fight but let's be under no no illusions man this fight against floyd Romero is like a bad bad idea a very very bad idea but again you only live once in it, so you let these guys do their thing. And then, of course, Uncle Dana, Dana White, um, president of the USC, had to chime in. And he said the following concerning the fight. He said, when people ask me what the state of boxing is right now, that's where it's at. Didn't that kid get beat up by a fucking video game kid from England? And now he's going to fight Floyd Weber, question mark. And he says that to, um, which is funny. He's kind of, you know, taking scoffing at the fact that floyd is fighting um a person like a logan paul and then look at who he's commenting that fight like he's commentating on the ludicrous the ludicrous nature of that fight to the fucking nelt boys right a youtube prank channel that that is basically the state of fighting in general that's a state of marketing that's a state of everything it's just absolutely bizarre right the nelt boys have now become the quasi Nick, the Nell Boys and Barstool Sports have become the Fox News platforms for the UFC, right? In terms of providing them with positive press, right? They're the only platforms that won't kind of push back on Data White in terms of the fire paying, all this sort of malarkey and how he kind of conducts himself as a president. Uh, and they kind of, you know, give some positive spin on how they conduct their business. But they also use it as a way to maybe promote and big up some of those cards that they are going to put on later on in the year so it's all nonsense it's all crazy it all doesn't make any sense but hey um february coming very very soon again if you're gonna bet on it bet on it lose your money for nothing but you know there's no way in the hell logan paul wins that fight of course fighter's chance he's got two hands he's got two feet it could change but you know that's gonna be an absolute um shocker of a fight but you know Again, you only live once in it, so why not give it a go? Why not give it a go?